What is up guys? Welcome to Fat Belly Fishing. I am your host as always, Mr. Logan. So today, I am going to be going over the summertime snook bite. It is hot. We are sweating our butts off down here in Florida. It is like you're wearing three sweaters as soon as you walk outside is what it feels like, but the sweaters are all wet. Especially me because uh, kind of bigger and hairy. <laughs> So today's going to be a really cool video and I'm really excited about because we're going to be going over three types of fishing for snook. There's going to be the flats, backwater, and passes and bridges. So the lures and the jigs you're going to be seeing in this video, we're going to have us actually catching snook on them and showing you how we're working them and what we're doing with them. So it'll be a mixture of me talking and you guys seeing us catch some decent sized snook. Before we get started, I just have a couple things to talk about. First off, I want to thank all of you that come and subscribe to my channel. Last month, I was out of town for two weeks out of the country, and we still ended up picking up over 100-something subscribers, and I wasn't even posting that much. So I really, really appreciate you guys. So to give thanks back to you guys, because I really do appreciate you guys, I'm going to be giving away some of my logos and uh, truck decals. You can put them on your car whatever you like on your uh, mugs. There's the American flag one, it's about three inches. And then I have two six inch ones that are uh, the Snook, the Fat Belly, the original logos in white and in black. The white one's probably hard to see in the camera, but you just peel it off, put it on the back of your uh, windshield. So I'm gonna be picking two or three people to give those away to. You have to like, comment, and subscribe to this. Make sure you put a comment down below so I know that you have entered to do this. I'm gonna pick them at random. And also, I have a couple more stickers to give away to some of the subs that have been with me for a long time. And guys I talk to through social media all the time. I have those coming for you guys. I will get in contact with you. Last thing before we get started, we have a very dear friend of this channel who I met through YouTube and he is a big redfish guy. His channel is called Come On Reds. His name is Sam. He's at 966 subscribers. I don't usually do shout outs and I didn't tell him I was doing this, but if you guys can go over and subscribe to his channel, get him to that thousand mark, that would be awesome. He has great content and he catches a lot of fish. So the first thing I'm going to go over is snook fishing on the flats. Now the, flash is, the flats can be described as grass beds, sand patches, just really out open areas and more of clear water. Uh, oh, Ted's joining I guess. Hello Ted. So the first thing I have is the Z-Man Jerk Shads. You've seen these in a couple of my videos. I've done a couple of reviews on them. These are awesome for catching snook because they're just fluttering by and the snook doesn't have too long to figure out what it is, but they love to hit these during summertime. So that is one of my very first lures to go. Now what I do with these, I rig them with a weighted hook, uh, like a bass hook that's weighted. And uh, you have to be careful because Z-Man plastic is definitely different. So they're not the easiest things to rig up. So you have to have the right sort of hook for them. Good night. Good night. <laughs> so a lot of the times you'll see with snook they like to hit things on the drop so when we're fishing and the bait is sporadically going up and down through the water when it's fluttering back down that's when a snook will go ahead and absolutely demolish it so in the summer months like i said you really like to use fast swimming baits and one of the reasons behind that is all of the bait fish like the green backs your sardines the minnows are all going around on the flats you can find thousands of them on the grass flats so you really want to match the hatch. So one of my favorite baits to use out on the flats is a Slayer Lure. And you guys have seen me use these before many of times, but when it looks like another bait fish is going by, it's that much easier to catch a snook on. 
So really think about what the fish might be eating this time of year and how to present it. So with the Slayer lures, I like to fish on a 1 4th or 1 8 ounce jig head. Something really light that you can just kind of zip through the water past the fish. <laughs> what did you put on? The Slayer? Slotty to start the day. Oh boy, this is this is dangerous, dangerous right here. The swim baits, I'm usually just chucking them out and swimming them right back in, and that's how I get a lot of my bites. Just because the paddle tails, they have such a good job of design where you don't even have to really do much. It the bait's made to work for you, and it really does, especially when it comes to snook. And we got the flats fishing taken care of and out of the way. We're going to go to the backwaters. Now these are the canals, the side streets, the marshlands. This is you guys down south in the Sarasota, Miami area, or you guys up north in the Panhandle, or Tampa Bay itself. There's plenty of these places to fish. And I've been filming a ton lately. The tarpon video and all the snook videos that I posted the last two weeks, all backwater videos. Now what I like to use for the backwater baits are really some glittery, darker colored baits. And these ones are bait made by Coastal Lures. Coastal Lures is a huge supporter of this channel. Uh, Aaron over at Coastal Lures hooks me up all the time and he's, he's just an awesome guy and they make awesome products over there. We're also going with another paddle tail for the backwater fishing because when you look in the backwaters and all these canals you're going to find a lot of creek chubs and small little mangrove uh, baits. They're just about this big sewing around, hiding up in the mangroves, maybe little oyster bars scattered around or tall grass. And that's what the snook are feeding on. So Coastal Lures does a great job of making baits that uh, mimic that. They make all sorts of baits, but I, I personally like those baits for that reason. The great thing with these swim baits, they do such a great job fluttering through the water and snook absolutely love that. So I get tons of hits on these new lures that I've come across. There's a, oh, that's a good snook. That's a good snook. That's a good snook. Get out of there. Coastal lure, putting in the work. Perfect hook set too. My second beautiful snook of the morning on the coastal lure. Last but not least for all you guys looking for those monster snook, those big girls, the ones that went from 30 inches to 40 inches real quick, just behemoths. This one's for you. So this is what I really enjoy doing and I do in the Tampa Bay area more than anything. And this is fishing passes, bridges, piers. That is really what I grew up doing. And there are two specific lures and jigs that I'd like to go over that get that job done. The first one is a first light. Chucking that thing out there and giving it pops all the way back in or you're reeling it straight and those big girls absolutely destroy it. Colors for that are green, sharps, trudes, blues, um, white, red. I don't always use the pink. The pink will work. This is actually the pink I use for tarpon. Tarpon, oddly enough, love pink and purples. Second thing I would say throwing in currents like passes or uh, jetties are the terrorizers by DOA. Terrorizers by DOA are proven over and over again. You can literally Google it and you'll just see hundreds of snook and tarpon caught on them all the time. You're just chucking it out there and the bait is literally shooting up and down like this at such a rapid pace and the snook just love that for some reason. All right guys, that's all I got for you guys for this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. I really do enjoy hearing back from you guys. That's how I kind of figure out where I'm going with the channel and how I want to uh, film the next video or what species of fish to go for. So I really do appreciate hearing from you guys. And like I said, go ahead and leave a comment below and uh, I will pick a couple random people to send out the decals for. I really appreciate you guys. Tight lines.